Hi guys, this is my old 2.5 M54 engine. It was rebuilded due to the oil consumption, high oil consumption caused by uh, bad oil rings. Now I got 3 liter version. Today I'm gonna be checking compression with this gauge. I'm gonna give you a few simple tips how to do it. And finally the readings. Hopefully it's gonna be fine and even. So this is the 3 liter version of the same engine, which is exactly looking exactly the same just different stroke creating more capacity more power but all the parts are exactly the same it got only maybe 3000 miles on the clock right now so what we need to have is warm engine all the six parts removed if they are not going easy be careful if you're not sure stop if they are fine remove all of them another thing is to check if you have a fully charged battery is in losing power or not if it's keeping its uh, voltage you find to do compression test if you're not sure you can still hook up the charger because the readings might be bad i'm using iridium ng case which are dedicated for that engine there's no problem with them i think they're performing better than four electrodes i did video already about that you can see it right now in here always check the color if it's very black or if it's very white that that means problems we got healthy engine and the tip is looking healthy is like bright orange which means it's great oil on top of your spark plugs usually means that the rocker cover gasket needs to be replaced All the parts for my engine rebuild, also the spark plugs coming from Autodoc, varieties of manufacturers of parts, you can check their website. Little bit of oil or any grease around the thread. First cylinder is gonna be upside down. We cranking until it's reaching the full maximum pressure. For best results is to unplug the fuel pump or injectors. Also, you need to open the throttle plate or make sure you're allowing some more air into the intake. The engine is not very hot. You probably notice small differences, but that's normal. First thing, you can't have perfect engine. The other thing is, if you have adjustable valves, you need to adjust the valves clearances before you're gonna do that. This engine have hydraulic lifters, so they might be bled a bit. They don't have enough pressure to do it. So best is to crank the engine before, just quickly crank it, or just keep it for like uh, 30 seconds and then turn it off and do compression check because I doing that second time and I see the first time when the air engine was hotter I noticed there was no difference between cylinders now I see uh, this engine sat for about three hours after I came back from work so that's why you see the differences so uh, be careful at compression test it might be tricky you might also try pouring a teaspoon of oil if you're thinking your readings are a bit low 
if you see increase that's gonna mean that piston rings or valves have some kind of leakage so the best thing to do to check whether it is a piston ring or valve is to do leak down test so guys that's it for me thank you and see you next time